Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this is Kira. We're out here in the Nordhaus Dunes Wilderness Area. Beginning of April. Just enjoying the last little bit of uh, winter. I'm on spring break, so I decided to come out to one of my favorite places in Michigan. I'm going to try out my new canoe. We're going to try and catch some steelhead, unrelated things. And uh, we're going to play around with Kara. John might come. It's going to be a great time. Thanks for coming. A bit chilly out so my battery died almost immediately after waking up and filming a little this morning taking a couple pictures we hiked out to the car because I have to grab a few more things and then I'm gonna go try and find some breakfast and a tackle shop and maybe some ibuprofen because I rolled my ankle on the walk out and it doesn't hurt yet but I can tell it's gonna hurt so we're just gonna drive into town and uh, look for a bait shop oh we're out here at one of the access points for the Pierre Marquette River I'm just driving up and down the river with Kara, looking for uh, where I can get in and out real easy when the weather clears up tomorrow. Not snowing or raining anymore, that's nice, but you know, I, I, I still got some gear prep to do to make sure I'm going to be comfortable enough getting in and out of this river. And But uh, yeah, this is one of the spots. It looks a little deep. We're going to head up river a little bit more. Might check out the, uh, the Pier Marquette River Lodge. Uh, they've apparently got some great information in gear, so, oh, Kara wants to get moving. She's She's getting anxious. Just drove around a little bit, checked some rivers, came back and set up a gear tent. Need somewhere to keep all our stuff out of the snow rain. Tent's still standing. Kara's still happy. She got her coat on so she didn't get wet. Put my big coat on too because most of the rest of my day is going to be looking at maps and dealing with fly gear. Trying to get ready for the rest of the week so I'm going to do some of that and then before dark Get the saw and probably cut some firewood so we can have some hot dinner tonight. Loving that gear tent though. Oh, Kara's just enjoying a bite to eat. I've been letting her hang out by the heater trying to dry her off a little bit. She's been having too much fun in the snow. So I got a fire going. Kara helped me get some sticks. Figure out some dinner. I think I'm going to save the steaks probably for when John gets up here maybe. Or just have one tomorrow. I'm feeling lazy so I think I'm going to do hot dogs tonight. Kara doesn't care. Just putting the grill in, letting it get warm. It's been like six months since I've used it, so you know, it's probably gonna do good to get some heat in there, sterilize it, get all the dried leaves and stuff off it. Pop those babies on there. Oh yeah, they're looking really good. Coals are still going. We don't have many flare-ups from the dripping. It's like the perfect temperature. And Kara convinced me that it's weird to just eat hot dogs off the grill, so I'm gonna put some water in a pan and make some mac and cheese too. And while Kara plays ball, I'm going to attempt to get this grill off. went way too easy. Oh, the sun's going down fast. It wasn't clear enough to have a very good sunset, but got a great campfire. Got hot dogs. Carol likes hot dogs. There you go. Mac and cheese and hot dogs, just like mom used to make. Well, maybe not mom, but like the babysitter. I'm just going to sit down and eat for a bit. Just going to enjoy this fire as it dies down. Not going to put any more wood on it. Just going to enjoy the heat and get ready for bed. Okay, we're all pulled back in under the big tarp for the night. Gonna put the last of the little bit of fire out. Ah, oh, tent always looks so good. Kara's ready for bed. Oh, you had a long day, didn't you, sweetie? Good night. So Kara woke us up early this morning. She decided she wanted to get going. We got out, played a little bit of ball, processed up some firewood, got a fire going. Uh, gonna make breakfast here real quick. It's a gorgeous morning, though. Starting to warm up, everything's drying out. Fire was real easy to get going. Yeah, but I think it's time for bacon and eggs.
we're just letting the fire die down. You know, gonna tighten up the boots, put a leash on her, and uh, hike to the car, get some water, and then drive out and see those other spots on the other rivers. So, Kara and I are just checking out the Little Manistee River uh, by the weir. Uh, this will probably be where John and I start off. It's a little smaller, a little less likely we'll end up hurting ourselves. Uh, and it looks like a nice gravel bottom, uh, which is where the steelhead like to spawn in. Just check this river out. It's gorgeous. Easy access, good parking. Well, we're here at the high bridge access of the Big Manistee River. Uh, unless we want to put the canoe in there and float, there's no way we're waiting that. We might be able to bank fish a little, but... Just at the Tippy Dam hydroelectric plant. It is one of the premier spots for fishing on the Manistee River, so we're probably going to try and probably try and use the double hand spinning rod here and see what we can get going but this is only after you know we can, we try something smaller first if you there's nice footpaths down to everything ah oh, there have been fishermen at pretty much everywhere we've went so uh i'm pretty pretty excited to at least give it a try so here's the tippy dam hydroelectric plant ah uh, the lake's still pretty frozen but you know way down over in that area somewhere there's fisherman's access and it's just down below the rapid line down over there somewhere. Kara's getting antsy just sitting in the car riding around, checking out parks and stuff. So we're probably gonna head back to camp, you know. I'll show her around North House Lake a little bit. Good day looking at rivers though, wasn't it? Wasn't it a good day looking at rivers? Well, we just got back to camp, worked on the canoe a little bit. Uh, there's more people in North House now, which is always nice. Good to see the area being used. I don't wanna shout at the camera as much, I guess, but whatever. I'm probably just going to keep prepping fishing gear and working on the canoe a little bit. Chopping wood and gathering sticks. Just find down branches, chop them up with the saw, split them out with the knife, break sticks, make fire. I'm starting the fire early because I think I'm going to do steaks tonight. So we're down to coals. We got a grill down there. It's nice and hot. Got our steaks all seasoned up and sitting out to get to room temp. You know. Five minutes per side, flip once. Don't forget the salt and pepper. Flare up on this thin piece, so we're just gonna give them a flip. Ooh, roasted. Oh, that one looks real nice though. Oh, I should have stopped that flare up earlier. So now I'm just gonna sit here, cut up some steak for Kara's bowl, uh, and then eat. Really good dinner. Sun's starting to go down. It'll be dark in about 20 minutes, half an hour. So, walk to the car, get a nice little walk in after dinner, you know, refill the water. So, this is pretty much what we're pulling back for for the rest of the night. You know, the fire's just getting petered out and the sun's starting to go down. I'm trying to get to bed earlier, you know, Kara's waking me up pretty early. Hey, sweetie. Kara's been waking me up pretty early, so I'm trying to get to bed earlier tonight, you know. We're just going to sit under the tarp, you know, with the heater, because the fire's going out, and uh, sort some flies, get ready for fishing. So now we're just going to take take the flies from the big box, start to move them over to our little box. Uh, this is the one we actually take, you know, on the river. You know, it's got some nice slots in it, but these nymphs, they said have been doing really well. You know, if I'm going to be going out away from the car a bunch, I'll only put, you know, I'll put a bunch in each one. But since I just want it to be easy to get in there and grab them, I'm just putting one in each so it's really easy to get to. And over here I've got big and small egg sacks. So I'm going to take a couple of the big ones, a couple of the smaller ones. These are, you know, these are supposed to mimic fish eggs, salmon eggs, steal it, love them. And they're a little bit easier to grab out one at a time, so... Teeny tiny little wet nymphs. Yeah, that's it, man. Just gotta thread my rods and we're good to go. Start to an early day. End to an early night. Yeah, gonna start the day early again tomorrow. Night, guys. Kara woke us up early again. Something was walking through camp and she had to go see what it was. I think it was just birds. But then she was chilly, so I turned the heater on in the tent. And we're just kind of relaxing for a little bit. Waiting for the sun to come up more. Because it's not quite sunny yet. 
And once the sun comes up, it's supposed to warm up significantly. It is like 20 right now. And I'd like it to be at least above freezing. Good morning, guys. Check our water. So we're just hard boiling some eggs for breakfast. Ah, my batteries have been dying since the moment Kara and I got out of bed, so I haven't been filming much on my phone. It's just, but there are other people here now, so I'm going to try and talk a little quieter so I don't disturb them because that's just nice. Oh, she's so majestic. Look at her. Just watching the other people walk around the lake. What a good guard dog. Yeah, Kara loves hard-boiled eggs and kibble, doesn't she? Oh, you got a leaf in your bowl, ew. Yeah, I know. It's still warm. Oh, you found a piece of shell, my bad. Fire's died out. Breakfast has digested a bit. Kara's calmed down after some play, so we're gonna hike over to the other spot we usually camp at, see how it survived the winter. So here's why I didn't go to the other spot uh, on the other side of the lake over there, because this is the footpath in in the spring during the melt. You finding good smells? So we made it up to our usual spot and, well, the wall's mostly gone. Bench is definitely gone. Looks like someone came in and dug a big old fire pit and made just a ridiculously large fire and torched the entire wall in the fire pit. I mean, whatever, you can take the wall down and torch the stuff. I mean, it's just wood, but like... That's how big their fire pit was. It's about 10 feet wide. And they clearly like scorched the crap out of all the trees above them. Even some way out. They're just destroying this place. They left trash everywhere. There are just cans everywhere. Spent a little time cleaning up after the hike over here. You know, burn whatever wood you want. I guess in whatever you want to call a fire pit, but... They just left so much trash, and there's so much I can't get out. No respect. Can't get no respect. It's warmed up a lot. Here's some crews out there clearing the other trails. John will be here in about an hour, so put Kara on her 100-foot leash on the tree and drag my canoe to the water, and how about you come, uh, come check out the lake with me? Expect some canoe adventures in the future. We always have a good time at Nord House. I'm sure in the next video or two, John and I will mess around with the canoe a little bit more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down there somewhere. This has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching.